Did hit a home run against me with the drained. And I was Charged just about swing to say. and he did it. Oh, oh my god. Hey everybody, it's Crit Nick, aka Nick Ball in some circles, aka asshole in others. Welcome to my Mario Superstar Baseball tier list analysis. And by analysis, I mean I'm telling you which characters belong where, and you can't say anything about it. That's a joke, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very subjective game with not a lot of objectives. So let's jump right into it. Before that, I want to ask everybody watching if you could please drop a like and even possibly a subscribe. I know that some people who watch me might not be subscribed, and it would really, really, really help me out. So I'd appreciate that so much if you could do that. So we've got six tiers of players, and I'm going to go through them one at a time. I think we're going to start at the bottom, actually, to, uh, you know, reserve a little bit of hype. At the bottom, we've got the quote-unquote team captains. These are the dudes that couldn't make the sports teams because they sucked at sports, but they still like sports, so they come on the bus with the sports team, and the coach is like, you're around, guess you're the team captain, carry the first aid kit. Your school didn't have that? Okay, whatever. These, these guys absolutely suck and should not see the light of day pretty much at all. So, number 32, not going to come as much as a, of a surprise. That's going to be the Pink Menace. Red Pianta. Just Pianta in general, pretty much. Uh, every... I'm, I'm... By the way, I'm only going to be talking about the colors of the most relevant one. And if, if that, like, is like a mute point, or a moot point, rather... Like, doesn't matter, I'll let you know. But I'm pretty sure either the Pink Menace is a meme or he's like a little better in the bat. Uh, everything about this player sucks absolute cock. <laughs> this, uh, this, is, this is pretty professional already. Uh, yeah, he is just not good. His charge swing usually winds up as a pop-up. Uh, his slap swing just doesn't get anywhere important. And he's like an okay infielder. But, like, you just want to pick infielders that actually like, do things. And he doesn't do much. He's got laser beam, which you can make a small argument for him in, like, right field or something. Maybe left if you're playing against Bowser. But the, the argument's very small. You don't want him in left field. You don't want him in right field. You don't want him on your team, so don't pick him. And next up is Red Koopa Troopa. The, this is another moot. This is a moot point. This doesn't matter. Uh, Koopa is horrible. He just doesn't do anything. I believe he has slide and catch. Um, so that's something. That can make him a mediocre second and shortstop. But there are just so many better players to play shortstop. His swing just kind of stinks. There's... I I haven't seen too many hits with Koopa is all I'm going to say. And uh, I don't expect to. Because everybody is super low on him. And yeah, he is lower than number... 30. Baby Mario. Now, again, these are the team captains. These guys suck so bad at sports that they're not even on the team. They they carry the water cooler for the coach because the coach is old. They Baby Mario, he he's, like, fast, I guess. But something really bad about him and Baby Luigi, who is number 29, they both have really low fielding stats. And fielding actually... I believe fielding matters because if your fielding stat is low you tend to bobble the ball more. I'm pretty sure that's the general consensus. And seriously, these guys are quick, but they bobble the ball so much that it's barely worth it. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I have had some success bunting with, like, Baby Luigi, and he is fast. He's faster than Mo Baby Mario. But, like, ugh. Just don't don't pick these guys. They, they don't even have, like, good, like, chemistry charts. They, like, have antis with, like, Bowser and shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just consulted my uh, chemistry chart that I have printed out. My god, their chemistry charts are terrible. Baby Mario only has chemistry with Yoshi and Baby Luigi, and his antis are Bowser, Wario, Shy Guy, Boo. Three out of four of those players are seeing every game. Maybe not together, but oh my goodness. And Baby Luigi is... Yoshi and Baby Mario are pluses. And then Bowser, Waluigi, Shy Guy, Boo, and King Boo. You know what? Maybe Baby Luigi's worse. But I, I like his batting just a little bit more. And I like his running just a little bit more. They both bobble so much, so, like, do not pick them. All right, now let's move on to the bench warmers. These guys, they can... Every once in a while, they'll find their way onto the team. 
But typically, there's just players, no, no matter what, there's players that are going to be doing things better than them. There, there's, a, there's like one at the end of bench warmers that is like semi-viable, but like I don't like picking. All right, coming in at number 28 is Para Goomba. That guy just isn't that good. His bat, absolutely garbage. His slap hit is like just a pop-up to like infield. Or just a line drive to infield. It, it just doesn't have a good spot. It's small, so it's hard to hit with. The only redeeming quality of this character is Super Jump. And that makes him a decent third baseman, first baseman, and right fielder against Bowser. But then again, there are characters that are better that do it, that have better bats or better list, like defensive capabilities and he seriously has no notable synergies he's got synergy with a uh, goomba monty mole and paratroopa like i guess it is not terrible it's not the worst chemistry chart i've ever see seen but all right coming in at number 28 or 7 i can't count coming in at number 27 is green shy guy now, I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for this one, but I don't care. I've never been on the Shy Guy wave. This guy doesn't do anything good. Pitching? Shut up. He doesn't do it. He doesn't do it well, anyway. Uh, batting? Eh. He, he can occasionally get one through the uh, second base and shortstop. And he has sliding catch, so he makes an okay second base and shortstop. But his character model is just too small. He doesn't really go as far as you'd want. And there, there's just so many better characters with slide and catch or bigger bodies that can actually get those balls. Shy Guy, he just doesn't add enough to a team to, like, make him pickable. He's possibly pickable on, like, a Birdo team because he has chemistry with Birdo. You know, second base shortstop, Shy Guy Birdo or something stupid like that. Even, like, maybe Shy Guy on third with slide and catch, catch some foul balls, then chuck it to Birdo for a double play. But besides that... He just, he, he doesn't put up results. No good, no notable star swing, which is usually the case for the green characters. But yeah, get off Green Shy Guy. I know he's become a meme. And I, honestly, I don't even know anymore if Green Shy Guy is the best Shy Guy. I think it just became such a meme that we were just like, all right, no other characters' ma uh, colors matter. Just like the Pink Menace. All right, coming in at number 26 is Dixie Kong. Now, the... <laughs> A few, a few of the bench warmers are going to start some sort of riot, and that's okay. Uh, I have not had a lot of commercial success with Dixie Kong, and this tier list is supposed to be partly subjective. Um, she, once again, this is a character with low fielding, so she bobbles a lot. Either she bobbles a lot, or I bobble a lot. And I know that people who watch my games know that I bobble a lot. <laughs> but... No, seriously, she bobbles all the time. I don't like her dive. She just, she has Clamber as her special, which, like, is not good on the only legal stage. She just, she, she has an okay hit, once again. She can get it in between the, uh, the middle baseman. But she, she really doesn't offer anything to a team. A team with Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, she gets that, like, monkey chemistry. It, we used to call it the monkey meta. And it, it was something, I guess. It wasn't great, you know. It was, it was better when people were higher on Dix, Diddy Kong, rather. But uh, nobody's really too high on him anymore, which you'll, you'll see eventually. All right, coming in at number 25 is Green Noki. Now you're saying, wow, Noki? Bench warmers? Yeah, Noki, she's all right. She, she honestly is playable. She does an okay job, but I haven't found to have a lot of success with her. I used to pick her all the time, and I don't know if I used to be better with her, but seriously, just her her bat is, like, weird. It's not that good. The green one has an okay star hit, but then again, like, you probably have characters that you want to burn stars on way more. Uh, the Her redeemable quality is sliding catch and good running stat, so she's a good, like, center fielder. Or she can really play anywhere in the field. She just doesn't do enough, in my opinion. I don't like her. Her chemistry is with Pianta, and that's it. So that's good. And an anti with Petey Piranha, who, if you haven't noticed, good character. So 
makes her not super desirable. Now running at a top speed of nine into 24th place is Toadette. Fuck Toadette, man. I love her so much. She's cute. She's sweet. She's pink. She's got it all going for her. Even two captain abilities. She's got sliding catch and wall jump, I think. <laughs> it's been a while since I played baseball. She got sliding catch and wall jump. So she has, she once again has a lot going for her and she's fast. So she makes a good middle outfielder. She just makes a good outfielder in general. But seriously, this character's bat is so, so bad. I, I take her because like, if she can get on base, which her bat can do it sometimes, but not a lot. Sometimes she can even bunt and make it to first. And with her being tied for the fastest running stat in the game, as well as having two captain abilities, of course, she can pretty much always make it to second on a steal. She possibly doesn't make it against PD Piranha with Synergy, but I haven't tested that, so I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, her and Yoshi pretty much just can totally just make it to second, no problem. They're great at stealing. So as long as you can get Toadette on base, she's good. But, <laughs> but you're gonna have a hard time with that. All right, now we're moving on to the minor leaguers. This is the most populated of the tiers. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of characters in baseball, if you haven't noticed, that are just okay. And even if they have good qualities, they just like either don't fit on a team or have like qualities that just aren't that good. So let's get into it. Rearing his green ass head at number 23, it's Luigi. Now, a lot of <laughs> a lot of people put Luigi next to Mario. I think the gap between them is massive. I think that they have a lot of similarities, but Mario's bat is just better overall. His star swing is better. Luigi's star swing is fucking awful. <laughs> and his chemistry chart is just it's just not like good. He's got chemistry with Mario, Peach, and Daisy, but then antis with Waluigi, Boo, and King Boo. You're gonna start to notice that characters like that are way higher in the tier list, and they're on pretty much every team. So having antis like that just also does not help Luigi's case very much. His bat is just generally bad. He does have super jump, which makes him a viable third and first baseman, as well as a right fielder against the Bowser team. And you can move him around if you expect a home run into like left field yeah overall luigi i think i think he's not very good uh i he the, he's actually the lowest ranked captain which uh de definitely t to me definitely used to not be luigi and all right coming in at number 22 or something i think that's right is your boy diddy kong once again here's a character that fell from grace diddy kong used to be a major leaguer he used to be picked a lot he used to be good but now that people are valuing that good mitt in left field less people just aren't picking him as much his bat is garbage it's always been garbage i there a diddy kong hit is rare and you will notice that if you watch back literally any of our season three games i i would love to see diddy kong's batting average back then because it's not good his star swing is okay banana ball but like there's a much better character with Banana Ball that you might even pick as your captain. So, it's not that Diddy Kong's not viable. The synergy with Donkey Kong is good. The synergy with Goomba is weird, but slightly relevant. I've heard whispers of using Diddy Kong as like a pitcher, and maybe as like relief once your pitcher is like dead, but I, I wouldn't really suggest it. You could try it. You, you let me know, but I just think that bat isn't super worth having on a team but he makes it onto some teams coming in at number 21 it's your boy monty mole now this man's got ball dash a almost completely unique ability which makes him a very interesting a lot of things actually makes him an interesting catcher makes him an interesting infielder it, it changes the game up a lot it makes steals pretty much impossible if you have in the right position even in the outfield, all right, this isn't very good, but I like to run the ball in if he ever catches it. His fielding stat's not that high, so a lot of times he'll bobble the ball, but I like catching it and then running it in. His bat is also decent. 
he he can get a pretty decent slap hit and he's he's not slow either he's pretty quick so it helps him get on base I wish I had more to say about him. I definitely would rather pick him over like Diddy Kong and Luigi though. He's just more interesting of a character and his bat's better. Coming in at number 20, it's Dry Bones, specifically Green Dry Bones. Green Dry Bones is not bad. He can make his way onto a team. He's got slide and catch, which makes him a decent middle fielder. He has a pretty good star swing. Once again, it's not exactly where you want to be when you're using up your stars, which you'll you'll start to see more people that are better with their stars later. His arm in the field is okay. He just doesn't he doesn't do too much, and that's why he's a minor leaguer. A lot of people are pretty turned off by him right now, but I think he's all right. You won't see me picking him too often, because there's usually someone better left, but yeah, he's not bad. Alright, and number 19 is Goomba. This guy also has Ball Dash, so it's not exactly exclusive. And I think mine, plus the rest of the world's perspective on Goomba, was totally rocked when Dennis, arguably the best Mario Superstar Baseball player ever, he started pitching with Goomba, and it worked. Goomba has a weird release point. So it's hard to track, and if someone tries to steal, since he's the pitcher, he can hit B and step off the step off the mound and go after him. And there's no, pretty much no way you're making it back after that. So you got to be really careful when you're playing against a Goomba pitcher. And just in general, that ball dash makes stealing really hard for the opposing team. Not necessarily a reason to pick Goomba, in my opinion, but he's not bad. His bat is also all right. I don't love it but it's not completely worthless. I it's not it's not one that I'm well seasoned with, so I don't I honestly don't have too much to say about it, but definitely not bad. And coming in at number 18 is Daisy. I think once again, we're going to say this about a lot of the minor leaguers. They're okay. She's all right. She's got sliding catch and quick throw, I think. Yeah, slide and catch and quick throw. And that makes for a pretty interesting shortstop slash second baseman. She can slide and catch to nab a ball and then quick throw it to first. And that that's a good conversion. But her antis are just super shitty. And it makes it really hard to pick Daisy onto a team. Having chemistry with Peach and Luigi is fine. You know, nothing I'm writing home about, but it's okay. Um, but antis with Waluigi, Bowser, and PD Piranha is pretty much almost inexcusable and her bat her bat's okay once again it's nothing to write home about but it can occasionally get a decent single her star hit is kind of hard to track the ball as well because it doesn't give you a target to run to so it's a little tricky but if it goes to a character with some sort of suction like yoshi birdo like you're probably just going to catch it no matter what even you might be able to activate like if you have like the gist if you press a you might be able to activate a dive or sliding catch and that might just work I don't have a lot of experience with it because a lot of people don't use it because you don't want to be paying two stars for a pedal ball. Only in very rare circumstances. Daisy's also a decent pitcher. I don't love her for that. Like, I would rather her on, like, shortstop if it was the right team for her. She can pitch. She's not bad at it. So she's not a bad relief pitcher. Something to keep in mind. Coming in at number 17 is Toad, specifically red or purple Toad. Toad is an all right player in pretty much every aspect. His ability is pretty irrelevant, body check. Every once in a blue moon you'll get one through, but I, I don't even know if I've ever seen a Toad body check, because I think body check depends on weight, but I don't know the weight stats of the characters. And Toad doesn't seem like he'd be very heavy anyway. But I've, but Toad has a pretty decent bat, and I've seen people hit home runs with him, which, uh, weird. And it's been a while since I've seen one. But, uh, I wouldn't put it past him. He's not bad. And he's fast, too. He makes a good outfielder. Now, coming in at number 16 is ya girl Peach. She is, once again, alright. Okay, let me level with you. Peach is a, Peach is a good player. Her bat's not terrible. She's a great pitcher, tied for the best, arguably. I think she's a little worse than Waluigi. A lot of people say they're tied. She's got chemistry with Mario, Luigi, Daisy, Toad, Toadette, and Toadsworth, the most chemistries in the entire game. But her biggest downfall is her antis. She has anti with Wario, Bowser, and Petey Piranha, three characters that are very, very good three of the best home run hitters in the game. So uh, it's it's pretty much just inexcusable 
That that's the character I was talking about with the inexcusable antis. Having antis that line up like that is just miserable for a character. And I'm, it's pretty much what keeps Peach off of most people's teams. Once again, just like Daisy, she's not a bad middle fielder. She's got quick throw and super catch. So she'll never bobble a ball. And then she throws it real quick to bases. She makes getting double plays really easy. Peach is a great example of a character that is good that is trapped behind horrible synergies. You do not want her in your field with Wario, Bowser, and PD Piranha on your team because you're just going to be throwing way too many bad chemistry balls and it's going to it's going to cost you. We we've seen things like that cost people games. So this you do, you do not want that. And to top off the minor leaguers is someone who's been trending way up, at least for me anyway. That would be BJ, aka Bowser Jr. He has a decent bat. I like where his ball lands. It usually lands right before right field, if I can remember correctly. Once again, it's been a while. If there's no suck, uh, his star hit, I honestly don't mind it that much. I'm not looking to spend two stars on it, but I'm not too mad if I have to do it. It's, it's not bad. And he is a great, he's surprisingly enough, great counter to Bowser because he has wall jump. And we've, we've seen it work one time. I pulled it off with Bowser Jr. And it was the sickest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. So Bowser Jr. trending up. I like him. Although he is a power hitter, he can't really be hitting home runs, which like, you know, whatever. They, they moved him to a speed character in the, uh, in the sequel. So that made sense. But he's also really slow in this game. So he, he makes a good right fielder, though. He does not a bad job. Especially if he has chemistry in the infield. It uh, it may, definitely makes him better. So that's why you're saying, like, oh, wouldn't he be on the Bowser team then? But, eh. He's a better counter to Bowser than anything. All right, now we're going to go on to the major leaguers. These guys are characters that pretty much see every single game. You you aren't... It, it'll be rare to see a game without these characters and then everyone above this pretty much well we're gonna get to the ranks later that like wow you see these characters every game if they're not in the game something was agreed upon <laughs> so so at the bottom of the major leagues but still good green paratroopa i really like this guy i think he's a good left fielder with a great arm uh even though i do not like his dive i think just having a good arm in left field is pretty good he also has super jump so just in case anybody is hitting some dingers out to left field he can cover those he could try to catch them doesn't always work sometimes they're a little bit too high but he's not bad and he's got a good star swing too so his bat's definitely viable sure it's not it's still we're getting to that point where like these are the characters you want to spend your stars on you don't want to spend your stars on him every single time especially if he's on the birdo team We'll talk about Birdo later, but she kind of shapes her team very specifically. You don't want a team that's too star hungry for Birdo. So more of the time you'll see Green Paratroopa on the Bowser team. And yeah, uh, Green Paratroopa can also play first and third with Super Jump. Uh, snag any random line drives just for fun. And coming in at lucky number 13 is your boy Boo. Now, this, feel, this might feel a little bit low for Boo, especially because in my first tier list that I ever wrote, which, by the way, was 15 pages, I think there's access to it online somewhere, but it was definitely over two years ago now, maybe maybe almost three. Jeez. Boo was number two, um, and that's because we valued pitching a lot more than we do now. We've been learning that there's a lot more pitchers in this game than we thought, so having a strong pitcher is less relevant. But Boo is an all-around good character. He's got Super Jump, which makes him a viable first and third baseman if he's not your pitcher, or when he gets tired as your pitcher. And his bat is good. It, it gets a it gets through the, uh, what's it called, shortstop and third base, or second and first. If you're not hitting foul balls, that is. So that can be a little annoying and stressful. I personally like to uh, pitch against Boo a lot, because we get like 12 foul, foul balls, and then I get them out. <laughs> Don't let him hit, though. His hit's good. It's hard to get that hit out. But if you have him anywhere, you definitely are going to have him as pitcher. And he can be moved to first and third as if you need to bring in a relief pitcher. And coming in at number 12 is Spider Legs himself, your boy Young Clogs Waluigi. This man is the best pitcher in the game. People say Peach is tied with him. I don't think so. He His pitching is just straight up nasty. And his bunt 
is not bad either. I've had a little bit of success with his bat too. I know a lot of people haven't, but I like his bat. I think it's good. He's definitely my go-to pitcher uh, when I'm picking. I don't love pitching with Boo. I'll do it, but I don't love it. So if I don't get Waluigi and my team can do it, I'll usually pick like Peach or something. Other notable things, he has Super Jump, which once again makes him a viable first and third baseman, as well as a good counter to Bowser, just in case. Yeah, you slap him in right field, and he can snag a low home run with Super Jump, which is pretty good. But yeah, he's he's this low. He's number 12 because pitching, once again, isn't... It, it's trending down pretty much. We used to value characters like this. Like Some people used to have Waluigi as their number one player, but like... His bat just isn't good enough, usually, to, like, vouch for that at all. You're going to see players that can kind of do it all or just do one thing really, really well coming up pretty soon. Also of note, he does have a pretty decent star swing. As long as his ball doesn't go towards Yoshi or Birdo, or go foul for that matter, he's got a 50... It's a 50-50 whether it's going to land or not. And you might even get a double if they go for the wrong thing, because it'll clonk them on the head. I don't remember what his is, but it'll clonk them on the head, and they'll be stunned for a little bit. So he can get a single or double, which sometimes is, it's good enough to push in a run. Sometimes that'll win you the game. I've used his, uh, I've used it quite a bit, that, that Star Swing. I've used Wario's too, it's like the same thing. And it, it had a lot of success with it. Now coming in at number 11 is ya boy Mario. Mario's been trending up quite a bit since ever, pretty much. People have grown more and more fond of Mario, some people even picking him as their captain, which personally I don't agree with. I think that the captain slots are better used elsewhere, but Mario, his, his bat is not bad. He, he has... Okay, he has home run potential. I mean, it's not amazing. Like, there's other guys that hit home runs when they look at the fucking ball. But it's not bad. And his star swing, even if you're spending two on it, you don't want to be spending two on it. But, like, it's good in a pinch. It's hard to get. This is how Dennis won a game against me. At least one. Was it Dennis? Who was it? It was at the last meetup. Anyways, yeah, he got a fireball and some fucking weird shit happened. So, yeah, definitely don't sleep on Mario. I think he's good. Um, Antis with Wario and Bowser kind of make it hard to put him on that kind of team. But if you can keep them far away from each other and not really throw into each other, like Mario center field and Bowser home, like that's usually fine. Something like that. But definitely he's not good on a Wario team when Wario's your shortstop or second baseman. Because throwing to that player could just be a complete disaster. And having chemistry with Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi is, like, okay. It makes for a really interesting team. Like, if you want to play the Mario team, you could put something decent together. I mean, Peach and Yoshi are good players. Uh, we're, we'll see Yoshi a bit later. But, uh, in my opinion, he's just not as worth it with those anti-chemistries. Just having an anti-chemistry against Bowser just is kind of a death sentence in this game. But Mario still gets picked through that. And that's mostly because of his strong star swing. And coming in at number 10 is Toadsworth. Whoa, surprise. Dude, Toadsworth's got a good bat. He's got a good star swing, and he's got a good regular swing. He very often can get the ball right in that gap where people can't really catch it. And that is super valuable. He's great at pushing in runs like that. He's great at starting off an inning like that. And even if you don't save a star for him... His bat's small, it's hard to kind of hit on his bat, and it's really easy to get it through the middle fielders. So I would I would definitely recommend Toadsworth. And he's also a good pitcher. He's definitely a good pitcher. I like pitching with Toadsworth a lot. He's not my necessarily go-to. Like, I'm usually picking Waluigi against everybody except Nolan, because Nolan scoops up Waluigi and Boo too fast, usually. <laughs> and he has Super Catch, too, which makes him a decent left fielder. He'll never drop a ball. Makes it makes him just a decent fielder in general. I'd probably put him in right field before left. Coming in at number nine is Red Magikoopa. The other colors are fine. I hear yellow's good at pitching, but I would pick red because it's got the best batting stat. And batting is what he does well. His star swing is great. It go it's, it's pretty much a line drive straight through the uh, middle middle fielders, and it it's good. It's really good at driving in runs. 
it's just a matter of like did you save your stars for magikoopa or not it gets harder like magikoopa he isn't super lovely on a team with birdo because you want to save a lot of stars for birdo but i can justify like a birdo magikoopa and then no other real like star hitters i think that's fine he also has magical catch which makes him a great middle fielder second and shortstop he it's like it's suck light pretty much so he can draw the ball in and make it a lot harder for line drives like like his own to go through. He's also got chemistry with Boo, Waluigi, and Bowser Jr. So that is that is something to think about. I actually didn't realize that he had all those. So he's definitely not bad in that department either. And he has no antis, which is pretty weird because he stole Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, but like whatever, I guess. And now to cap off the major leaguers is King Boo is sitting pretty at number eight. I don't have a lot of success with King Boo. I don't know why, but I just can't really use him that well. I think he's a good player, and he's got a lot of home run potential. But personally, I just, for some reason, can't find his sweet spot. Or even if I know where it is technically on the bat, I'm not great at hitting with him. He's got the super jump again, so he's obviously good third and first. He's good in right and left field if you're going against home run hitters. But... Yeah, he's he's totally okay. You can sometimes get a good home run with him. Even if you don't charge, you could just use a star. And sometimes you'll just get it right in that spot and get it over the fence. Like I've seen it, so it's definitely viable. But I'm not I'm not super high on King Boo, and that's why it lands him on the number eight spot. Alright, and now we're at the all-star game. These are the guys that put the microphone on and have interviews with the guys in the booth during the game. These guys are the all-stars, they're great. They're not the toppest tier of the tippy top tier, but they are certainly nothing to complain about. I complain about playing against them. That's pretty much it. So at number seven, we have Petey Piranha. He's not higher, even though his dinger potential is ridiculous. He's not higher because his bat is fucking hard to hit with. His sweet spot is really weird to find, and he also has that like weird like charge up lag that like you need to do the pause buffer over to like do. So I guess there's a way out of it, but like if you don't know about the pause thing, it's really hard to deal with. But yeah, he he's also a good catcher because he's got the fastest in the field throw in the game, I think, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, this guy's just got pretty much, he's just raw power. And you're going to see coming up, like home run hitting like this is huge. And it's going to put you high on the tier list because... As far as many of us are concerned, home runs are the best thing in the game to be able to hit. And having antis with Peach, Daisy, Pianta, and Noki. Like, Pianta and Noki, who cares? But having antis with Peach and Daisy are what keep Peach and Daisy off of people's teams. Because you're going to see a lot of the better players will have antis with characters like that. Which is what makes Peach and Daisy less viable. Because they're fine players. Just the players that are better than them fucking hate them. Coming in at number six is your man Yoshi. This guy was super hard to place because his bat is dinky dog shit diapers. I hate his bat so much. I don't know how many times I've ever gotten a hit with him, except if someone accidentally hit me with the ball. But no, his his he can every once in a while he'll get on base with a decent hit. But I really, really do not like his bat at all. He has an egg bowl like Birdo, but it's pretty much sucks. So you don't really want to be wasting stars on it. Even if you, for some reason, pick him as your captain, you don't really want to be wasting too many stars on it. Now, having what he has in Tongue Catch makes him pretty, with his top speed of 9, the highest speed stat in the game, only tied with Toadette, he it becomes an extremely valuable player in pretty much any position in the entire game. This is save, like, catcher and pitcher. And even honestly, if he could pitch... I think he'd do a pretty decent job because a line drive goes kind of past the pitcher. You just hit the A button. Yoshi goes blam and catches it. He's dumb, but you'll mostly find him in like center and left field. Any ball that gets bombed out there, he's fast enough to get to or almost get to. And then his tongue lets him reach far enough to grab it. Uh, you will, the, these, these are the characters, by the way, that you'll see picked every single game. Even the major leaguers, almost every single game, most of them will see. So... Yoshi also has chemistry with Mario and Birdo, which is pretty relevant. At least the Birdo one is definitely relevant. He also has chemistry with Baby Mario and the Baby Luigi, but like, who gives a shit? Those guys suck. Don't even think about them. Those guys are not even like anything compared to the like 
guys that are up top like this. Yoshi is just completely invaluable when it comes to infielding, outfielding, whatever. You can move him to second if you need to fill a hole for some reason. He's just he's just ridiculous. That the tongue plus the speed. We've gotten some pretty crazy catches with Yoshi. I think everyone can agree with that. Now coming in at a powerful number five, we got Wah Wario. This man is just good at everything pretty much. Except maybe like running fast, but he almost doesn't even give a shit. He is mostly picked to be a great shortstop slash second baseman. I usually play him on short. He's got a good sliding catch and his body is way bigger than his model gives off. So he's really good at just catching pretty much anything that's going by him. I would only say that it's a little less good than like Yoshi's tongue and Birdo's suck. It's really strong. And he also has home run hitting potential. When he's not hitting home runs, he can hit singles and his star hits good. It's the same as Waluigi's. But... He, he can hit home runs, and I've hit, um, I've hit them before, and I've seen people hit them before. He's good. This is a good player. He's got chemistry with Waluigi and Boo as well, which isn't particularly hard to get at least one of them on the team with Wario. Coming in at number four is your main monkey, Funky. And by Funky, I mean Donkey Kong, because they didn't put Funky in this fucking game. DK is number four. DK is what you would call an all-around good player. He's great on second or shortstop. He's just a huge body and he's got a good dive. So he can, he, he, it's similar to Wario. I think it's a, might be a little bit worse, but it's really good. And his, his arm in the field is very strong too. And his bat is probably the most versatile in the entire game. He's great at hitting singles. Some might even think that he's like the best single hitter in the game, which I think I could get behind. As well as he could pull out a good home run if you're good enough with him. His Sweet Spot is really tiny, but if you are well versed in it, it's good. Also, like, I haven't had too much success with Banana Ball, but if you've seen Dennis use Banana Ball, especially against me, oh my god, it's ridiculous. Banana Ball is pretty good. Uh, you, you don't necessarily want to be paying two stars for it, and like, if it's not a great Banana Ball, it's pretty easy to get caught, but. I think DK is a viable, viable team captain. I don't think he's 100% like every time you should be picking this character as a team captain. But one star banana ball plus a just all around good player is good. Synergy with Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong, duh. But also PD Piranha? Don't know what the fuck that's about, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> I don't know when those guys ever met, but it's okay. We, we take those. Yeah, so when DK's not sitting down munching on bananas, he's catching balls, smacking balls, throwing balls. The only thing this character can't do is pitch. And even then, like, you might trick somebody for a little while because he's sidearm. Maybe for, like, two pitches. And then that'll be it. Coming in at number three is the raw dog home run hitter, and that would be your boy Boomerang Bro. This man's home run potential is crazy. The second best in the game... I mean, some would say third because they say Petey Piranha's better, but I think it's a lot easier to ding out a dinger with Boomerang Bro. His sweet spot's a lot easier to find, and he's just he's just ridiculously powerful. He doesn't offer a lot in the infield, so a lot of the time you'll see him either at like first base or at home base, but he's, he's just strong. He's a strong character. He is like Bowser Light, pretty much. And if you haven't noticed yet, home run hitting is the most valuable stat in this entire game if you can't hit home runs then you better be doing something else but this man can hit home runs so he doesn't need to do anything else it's fine and now we've got the hall of famers these guys are historically just the best players in baseball pretty much everybody would consider these guys like number one and number two not everybody i know there's some birdo haters out there but uh these are the characters that you most see as team captains because they offer very significant things that I'll talk about. So number two is Birdo. Birdo is an amazing team captain. She has an amazing star hit in Egg Ball that could be converted into singles, doubles, triples. Sometimes I've, I've seen him go full around the bag. <laughs> around the bags, which is ridiculous. She also has suction, which makes her a really, really good second baseman. Shortstop. The only thing that she doesn't really have is a good bat outside of Egg Ball. 
a lot of people complain about her bat, and I can agree with that. It's just, it's not that good. So if you don't have stars, you're going to struggle. I've seen her hit a home run like one time. So maybe charge up if you don't have stars. <laughs> Probably don't, but like whatever. And you're going to see her mostly as captain because when you pick a character as their captain, it reduces the amount of stars a ball costs to one. A special ball, either a special pitch or a special hit. So having a discount egg ball is what many in the uh, industry would call it discount weird ball is really really vi uh, really really good you you want to only be paying one for star hits usually anyways and if you have a full star gauge getting to do five egg ball chances instead of like three i would say is a lot better the math is there and at number one is the most famous team captain of all you pick him not because he gets a discount on his star swing you pick him so your opponent can't have him you got Bowser. Now, for a little while, I was like, you know what? Everyone's walking Bowser. He's not the best in the game. He's not hitting home runs anymore. You know what? If you get to pick a character that just gets a free single every single time, it's good. And then the times he doesn't get a single, you pretty much have like a 75% chance to hit a goddamn home run. Like, seriously, this guy looks at the ball and it's just gone. It's ridiculous. This guy's insane. His home run hitting potential is so absurd. It's the highest stat in the game tied with Petey Piranha. Except he doesn't have a little stupid bat. His bat is the size of the plate. It's bigger than most of the characters in the game. And his home run sweet spot is pretty much like the entire bat. So yeah, character is absolutely ridiculous. He's also not a terrible second baseman and shortstop just because he's huge. I wouldn't recommend putting him there. He's fine at first or home, which, you know, pretty much the bench. I've seen people put him in the outfield if they think the outfield's not going to matter that much, but that usually doesn't go well. He has laser, so that's, like, fine. He also has body check, uh, so if it's going to be a close play, sometimes he'll barrel over people, so that's kind of good. But definitely not why people are picking him. People pick him because he's either a free single or an absolute dinger. Rare to strike out with Bowser. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I know some of my placements were a little controversial, but I'd love to get conversation started either in the Mario Superstar Baseball Discord or even in my comments section. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I love interacting with everybody. It's a lot of fun. So, and you guys sometimes are way more educated about the game than me. Look, looking at you, Hongji. All right, special shout-out to all the guys in the Mario Baseball Discord, just to name a few... You know, I just named him Hongji, Clappin' Cheeks, a.k.a. Gil, City Hall, a.k.a. Baseball, The Big Bean, Jacarno, DMB Goots or something has been pretty active lately. You know, you guys inspired me to make this video because you've been making these videos. Did I say Jacarno? <laughs> I meant to if I didn't. And uh, pretty much everyone else that I forgot to name. Nolan. Love that guy. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already, and like this video if you like this video. It's pretty self-explanatory. All right, bye!